we're finding ourselves at a very exciting moment with the Skywalker saga coming to an end. We're at a place of what's next for Star Wars. One of the things we've always done is be able to use our franchise platforms to explore the creative potential of the Star Wars galaxy. And so what if publishing was more of an incubation place and bring in great talent and just let their imaginations run free? put together the really unique writer's room where we had diverse voices with very different opinions about Star Wars. We all love Star Wars, but we're all coming in from very different places. This has been a very free environment for everybody to just throw things out there. We've all done lots of storytelling, but this is unique and really special. The idea that this thing has been simmering for so long. Well, is this the secret history of the galaxy? Yep. It goes way back to the beginning of Star Wars. We gave them essentially a, a blank slate. What would you like to tell? For over a thousand generations, the Jedi Knights were the guardians of peace and justice. A line that we've been hearing since 1977. And we thought, you know, what does that look like? It is a golden age where there's much more peace and calm in the galaxy. So we're calling it the High Republic. The description that we've used for the Jedi of this era is that they are the Jedi Knights of the Round Table. But Star Wars isn't just about Jedi, and we will tell stories of new smugglers, new scoundrels, new bounty hunters. The threat and the tension really comes from the Republic's borders, because the Republic does not extend from one side of the galaxy to the other. It's a bit of a Wild West new frontier. We see a different kind of Jedi that patrols the frontiers and is more of a Texas Ranger. We're now bringing in concept artists, illustrators, and visualists, the same way that you would when you're making a movie. We even had Ian McKay come down and just do sketch after sketch for us. When you have the guy who designed the look for Darth Maul sketching Jedi for you, it doesn't get any cooler than this. The scale of this initiative is really new for us. We're going to have stories for adults and teens and kids. We're building this out simultaneously across multiple publishers. It gives us the ability to tell vast interconnected stories across multiple years. There will be a core group of heroes that will expand over time. There'll be villains. Our main villain are the group called the Nile. We kind of like to refer to them as space Vikings. Their motto is, you can't take it with you, but we can take it from you. Our story starts with what we're calling the Great Disaster. It wouldn't be Star Wars without adventure. And there's definitely a series of events that will spin the galaxy into a dangerous new direction, and it'll give the opportunity for heroes to rise up. The cool thing about this is that there's going to be a story for every Star Wars fan. It's really fun to be able to keep readers on their toes. This era is ripe for storytelling. The Eureka moment was the question, what scares the Jedi? And that made us all go, ooh, something wicked this way comes.